Thank you to our members of the press for joining us and to our guest speakers for taking time out of their busy day to be with us this morning. I am Amanda Hoff, Executive Director for Visit Howard County and will be emceeing today's event. I'd like to start by thanking Lance Cook, our first speaker of the periodic table for hosting us this morning. Mr. Cook. Thank you, everybody. Uh, my name is Lance Cook. I'm the owner of uh, the periodic table and uh, Tino's Italian Bistro here in Howard County. Uh, I'd like to start off by actually personally thanking Dr. Ball and Larry from the EDA for uh, getting me up early the day after Mother's Day Madness. Really appreciate it. A week ago before Allie called me, I had this uh, vision of laying in bed all day and doing nothing but drinking pina coladas, but no, I'm back at work. Thank you. Um, just a short few seconds of uh, what's going on in the restaurants, especially in Howard County. 2020 was just was disastrous. It was really hard, but we made it through. Most of us all made it through. Uh, 2021, you know, the trends are looking up. We're, uh, we're really excited about the future. Um, we're really excited that people are starting to feel a little bit more secure in going out. People are getting vaccinated. My wife, uh, my beautiful wife and I are vaccinated. Um, most of our staff are as well. Um, so let's just, uh, you know, try and get every, everybody back and uh, back in the restaurants. So uh, without further ado, Dr. Ball. Yeah. Thank you, Lance. Good early morning to you and everyone else. And thank you so much for joining us here at the periodic table in Columbia. And a special thanks to Lance for hosting us. Uh, your determination and resilience of both you, your lovely wife, and your staff has not only helped us get through this year, but it has been an inspiration to many as we see hope on the horizon. Like Lance, our restaurants and businesses have had to adapt and work through the challenges of COVID-19. Amid more than a year of uncertainty, and an unpredictable future. Our business community has faced shutdown, capacity restrictions, and obstacles of operating during a deadly pandemic, the likes of which we haven't seen in this generation. And that's why we're continuing funding our local businesses to combat the impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic and ensure that they are able to emerge on the other side thriving. Through continued partnership with our federal and state partners, we're focused, we focused funding toward our small and local businesses. Howard County is home to approximately 10,000 businesses and 86% of them have fewer than 10 employees. And oftentimes those were the hardest hit. For these small businesses, funding like this is a critical lifeline. Since July 2020, we've dispensed three rounds of funding, totaling approximately $18 million to nearly 2,000 of our small businesses, farms, restaurants, hotels, live venues, business associations, and child care providers. In December of 2020, we filed emergency legislation requesting $2 million in county funds for Howard County businesses since the CARES Act funding was exhausted. We know how much relief is needed. And for our hospitality industry especially, this past year was devastating with fewer events and less travel. But as more and more people are vaccinated, we're hopeful for our restaurants and hospitality industry as they continue on the road to recovery and we're here to help make that vision a reality. Today, we're announcing an additional 
$1.2 million in state funding for our restaurants and over a half a million dollars in state funding for our hotels. In this fourth round of Hoko Rise business grants, we're prioritizing our hotels and restaurants that didn't previously get a grant. However, all may apply. Our restaurants have faced some of the hardest circumstances this past year, and I want to make sure that we continue helping and supporting our business community and jobs. We're also pleased to be able to provide additional support for our hotels who have been impacted by less travel and fewer events over the last year and still face setbacks in the coming weeks and months ahead. The Howard County Economic Development Authority and our tourism visit Howard County have worked incredibly hard as fantastic partners to not only advocate for, but support our businesses in these challenging times. Our Economic Development Authority will be accepting applications at hceda.org slash C19 grants. Now, while the application process will be open until May 24th, we strongly recommend you start applying as soon as possible. Throughout this pandemic, I've emphasized how critical it is that we work together to defeat this virus, and that is still true today. We need to keep looking out for each other, our neighbors, our family, our friends, and our local businesses. For many of us, we're hopeful that this summer we will be closer to normal, and that means making sure that the local coffee shop or restaurant that we still love will be still here for us to enjoy. As we're getting vaccinated, and are more comfortable doing the things we love. Please be sure to visit and support your old favorites or try something new like Periodic Table. And as we turn the corner of this pandemic, let's remember our local businesses and keep working together toward a safer summer as we walk united on the road to recovery. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Baum. I'd like to thank Howard County Executive Ball for his tireless work to keep our community safe while supporting residents and businesses throughout the pandemic. On behalf of Howard County's hospitality community, thank you, Executive Ball, for, your, for this support as well as your support of Visit Howard County so we may continue to do the work to assist these businesses through the recovery by connecting them to the resources they need and marketing them to the customers that are key to their long-term sustainability. At this time, I invite Larry Tweel, CEO of Howard County Economic Development Authority for his remarks. Thank you, Amanda, and thank you, Dr. Ball. Well, when we began this, uh, uh, this grant process almost a year ago, we certainly didn't think we'd be doing four rounds of this. But you know, it, is, uh, it is important to, I think, recognize that we are doing another round of grants you know, through the support of the county executive because of the continued support. While things are looking up, it's certainly uh, no time to put our guard down and re you know, relax on our support. So thank you, Dr. Ball, for your continued efforts and support. Howard County Economic Development Authority is very pleased to be part of the team, uh, along with tourism and the folks back at the county supporting our, supporting our, local, our local businesses. You know, while many of our, uh, you know, some, some restaurants, it has been, as Dr. Ball said, a very difficult time for our restaurants and hotels. Uh, some have been severely impacted, but an overwhelming majority of the restaurants and hotels have, have survived and made it this far 
thanks on part for the you know support of the county executive and our, our partnership with visit howard county but importantly it's the uh, community that has supported the restaurants as well and continued to you know figure out ways of supporting the restaurants through takeout and you know uh, curbside delivery and please continue to do that while we move into the summer and everybody's anxious to travel please don't forget about your local restaurants and particularly you know i wanted to recognize uh the bold entrepreneurship of uh, folks like Lance and, you know, opening during what, you know, seems to be probably one of the worst markets for restaurants, being bold enough to continue to open. Uh, we recently announced a new restaurant down at Savage Mill as well. So hats off to the bold entrepreneurs who have struggled, survived, and even taken bold steps to open. And, you know, my message is to the community, please continue to support these, these important parts of our business community. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Twill. Our next speaker is Yolande Lacan, General Manager of the Homewood Suites Columbia and also President-Elect of the Howard County Tourism Council. Good morning. Thank you all. Um, I, I visit you today as an operator, not an owner, who's been entrusted with a large facility here in the county during a time that's been strange at best. Uh, under normal circumstances, as a general manager, our goal is to balance our guest needs, our employee health, safety, morale, and our owner's investment. And it's a three-way balancing act. But it's what we do, and it's what we have gotten used to doing. This past year, all of that's been thrown out the window uh, through layoffs, reduced numbers of guests and having at the end of every month to look at our owners and say, I'm going to need a check to cover whatever needs to be covered. We're rebuilding. Guests are coming back. We've been able to call employees back. We are not where we were, but we're rebuilding. The end of every month, however, my eyes sink right to the bottom. What am I going to need to ask for? And I have to say that Dr. Ball, Economic Development, Visit Howard County, have made that a little bit easier through HOCO Rise at the end of every month to say, wait, there's a glimmer. And for that, we are grateful on behalf of the hoteliers. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Lacan. As we have heard from our speakers today on how support from the county and state is critical to the survival of our hotels and restaurants, these businesses also need support from their community and in turn will contribute directly to our local economy and residents' quality of life. Before closing, I'd like to share just a few ways how our county residents and, and all Marylanders can support their local hospitality community. Book a staycation and escape the daily grind. Our hotels and restaurants can pamper you and provide the rest and relaxation we all need. They also make for a safe place to telework or meet with your team and business affiliates. Host your family and friends at a local hotel while practicing social distancing. Host a small number of family and friends at a restaurant to celebrate dads and grads or whatever celebration you have in the pipeline or order your celebration meal curbside. Plan ahead and book your meetings and social events. Our hotels and restaurants will work with you if your plans change. And last, our hotels and restaurants are all hiring. If you or someone you know are looking for some extra cash, our hotels and restaurants will gladly welcome you to their team. The perks can be great and you will be supporting your local community. And with that, we conclude our program. Thank you again to our members of the press for attending and to our gracious host and speakers. Are there any questions? Thank you.